Yo, pues, ¿Y están bien o qué? Today we're gonna be learning Colombian slang with the music of Faith. Ay, María, pues. Yo no entiendo. Cada vez que yo quiero hacer un video de, de otro país, la gente me quiere interrumpir. ¿Qué es lo que tú quieres? Parce, ¿cómo vas a hacer un video sobre el fercho vestido así, pues? ¿Y qué es lo que no te gusta el flow? ¿No te gusta piquete? Tienes un look bien paisa, pero el fercho no es así. ¿Qué me pongo entonces? Porque yo quiero como estar al día, tú sabes. Quiero estar al día. Primero, debes ponerte unas gafitas ugly blancas si tenés. A mí, loco, pero no tengo eso. Yo tengo como unos uno lentes negros. Está bien, Bobby. Quítate ese sombrero y ponete una gorra así, pues. Está top. Y ahora, ponete una white tee, una camisa blanca. ¿O qué estamos bien? Qué chimba, parce. Ahora eres una de las neas, pues. Que comience el video. Bueno. All right, you guys. So, we're going to be learning how to speak Colombian Spanish with Fade's music. Many of you guys might know Fade because of Carol G. He's dating Carol G. He's been popping way before then. Y'all are late. But it doesn't matter if you're late to the party because we're gonna be able to learn Colombian slang through his music. He's one of my favorite Colombian artists for that reason specifically. Maluma and J Balvin, you know, they don't use too much Colombian slang in their songs, but Faze is like known for that. He's known for bringing his roots into el reggaeton y eso me encanta, mi gente. Entonces, vamos a hablar de eso hoy en este video. For those of you who come from traditional Spanish classes, uh, you may be a little confused with hearing Faze songs. But why is that? Well, there's two reasons why it may be difficult to understand him in some of his songs. Faith speaks like a paisa from Colombia. Paisa is like the, the area of Antioquia. Antioquia is una región de Colombia. It's a region of Colombia. I think it's like four territories in that, in that space, like four major territories, and they speak a certain way. So that's what the Paisa accent is. How do you know that it's a Paisa accent? I mean, did a video on how to speak like a Colombian up there somewhere. So click on it and watch the video if you wanna know how uh, Colombians speak Spanish, especially the Paisa accent, which is the most popular. Take it from Faith himself. Listen to Faith speak so you can hear how he sounds when he's talking normally. So yeah, if your ear is not trained for that, you're not gonna catch it. Like he didn't even say grabar un video. Like I would say grabar un video. But he said grabar, grabar un video. So yeah, the B's and the D's, they're very soft in Colombian Spanish. Also, they use voz. In one of the vlogs that I just posted, uh, one of the guys taught me hablarlo parcero. And hablarlo is how I would say hablalo. But he said hablalo because he used the voice, and the voice commands are different. Voice is different, as you heard in the intro of this video as well. So, those are a few things about how he speaks that, uh, that might throw you off. So, just train your ear. You know, listen to some interviews with him. He'll speak like that, and you'll be able to catch it. And, you know, just train your ear to that type of Spanish if you're interested in Colombian Spanish, which you're watching this video, so you must be. Aparte de eso, if you listen to Faith, you will hear that he uses a lot of English in his songs. I don't even know if he knows English that well, but he uses so much of it in his songs. Actually, his name, Faith, is a Spanish form of the word faith. You know, he tried to use the phonetics of Spanish to say the word faith, but they don't really have the sound in, in, in Spanish unless you're in Spain. So he did the closest thing, the closest thing that he could, which was F-E-I-D, faith, faith, tu sabes. So he likes English, so that can be a reason why you are not understanding some of his music. For example, Son peligro, son daño. Son peligro, son daño. Danger. No dañe, danger, eso es lo que dijo. That's what he said. ¿Cómo será la movie? ¿Cómo es la movie? No la película, la movie. Si así es el trailer. Si así es el trailer. The trailer. You hear all that English has three English words in one part of a song. And to top it all off in the song, he says. Todos saben que hoy es Ladies Night. Todos saben que hoy es Ladies Night. It's all there. So, you know, when you listen to Faith, you gotta put your English ears on as well. It can, it can kind of be hard because you're thinking like, oh, that's a Spanish word, but then you look up the lyrics and you're like, wait, he said that? Okay, now I get it, you know? Entonces, train your ears. But we came here for the music, so let's get right into that. All right, we're gonna start with one of my favorite songs, which is Feliz Cumpleaños Percho. The title itself is weird, right? What, what is a Percho? Percho is uh, just a short name for Fernando. I don't think his name is even Fernando, but because he goes by Faith, este, it's a nickname that, that people use for him, I suppose. Let's look at some of the Colombian words that he uses there in Feliz Cumpleaños Fercho. He said, Tu estás panda con este gato. Un gato, 
It's a cat. You know how in English we say, you know, like the older guys in English, like they'll, they'll call guys cats. Same thing happens in Spanish. It was a Puerto Rico thing. It's also in Medellin where they will use gato or gata to describe a guy or a girl. Gato, gata, guy or girl. So he said, tu estas pa andar con este gato. It's from saying, you want to be with me. No con ese pirobo. No con ese pirobo. Guys, don't use the word pirobo, okay? Pirobo, is, it could be a, a sexual slur. It also could be just a really mean insult. I wouldn't recommend using it but he used it in this song and you gotta know what it means because you're saying along to the lyrics. So you better know what you're saying, right? But did you hear how he said it? He didn't say pirobo, he said piro. Ese piro. Ese piro. And so I told you that the B's and the V's and like the D's, they're really soft in the paisa accents in Colombian Spanish in general. So there's evidence of that right there in that song. All right, we have Faye borrowing from some Dominican Republic Spanish. She said, le hacen coro. Hacen coro is like to associate with, to hang out with uh, people. That's a Dominican Republic phrase, but it's like he's borrowing it there. So shout out to Faye for that. Tu sabes, a mi me encanta la República Dominicana. Todos parceros hablando de ti. ¿Qué es un parcero? What is un parcero? Un parcero is just un amigo, just a friend. But for short, they will say, Parse. ¿Qué más pues, parse? Vamos a la siguiente canción, mi gente. Esta canción se llama Chimbita. ¿Qué es una chimbita o un chimbito? Una chimbita es una mujer buena. It's a very good looking woman, a very attractive woman. Una chimbita, it could be the same thing for a guy. Chimbito. ¿Será que es porque no soy gangster ni bichote como él? He said bichote. If you guys know Carol G, you know that she has a song called Bichota. This word actually comes from Puerto Rico, another borrowed word that we have in Colombian Spanish. It just means a big shot, you know? He said, tal vez es porque no soy gangster ni bichote. Gangster, gangster, bichote, big shot, like a shot caller. It's somebody with money, okay? It's somebody who got money, basically. A baller, okay? Bichote. Te estoy tirando al cel. If you speak school Spanish, you be like, oh, yo te estoy llamando. Okay, when you get more advanced, you'll hear this phrase a lot. Tirarle al set is to call somebody. He's gonna call you. Uh, I'm calling you. Te estoy tirando, te estoy tirando al set. Tú sabes. Te gustan las neas, te gusta el set. Te gustan las neas. Nea, it used to be like more of a negative word. Te gustan las neas. You know, I was talking about, she likes los bichotes. Entonces, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. They usually have like, you know, baggy clothes, the the hat, it could be a, a snapback or like a fitted, you know, stuff like that, the jersey, cosa así. But nowadays, you know, music shifts the culture. So nea has now become a word associated with like, it's kind of like a bad boy, but it could also be like a friend, like, like your friends. You know, I think the closest thing that we have to nea in my version of Spanish, Dominican Spanish, will be un tigre. Nea. In Colombia, sería un tigre en República Dominicana. ¿Por qué tan perdido, pues? ¿Por qué tan perdido, pues? Pues doesn't mean anything. But you know how, like, Mexicans use le a lot at the end of their things, or um, way sometimes? Well, Colombians will use pues a lot. They will use pues, and sometimes they will use okay. Okay. I'm not saying like okay, like okay, like okay, like or what? You know, it's just been okay. You know, something like that. But that doesn't matter. Okay, doesn't matter. It's not the song. It doesn't matter. And what matters is she says, Por qué tan perdido pues? And that just means, Where you been at? Why haven't you hit me up? That's what that means. Por qué tan perdido pues? Cuando me invitar a parchar a Miami con el percho. Cuando me vas a invitar a Miami a parchar con el percho. Parchar. What is parchar? Well, just like parcero, eh, it means friends. Well, parchar is what you do con tus parceros. You compartir, you hang with them. Eh, you have a good time with them. You, you talk, you know, you, you, that's what it is. It's compartir con los amigos. Just like how I told you guys, hacer coro con alguien in the Dominican Republic is to hang out. Well, in Colombia, especially in Medellin, they will say, Fumeteo is the next song. There are some key words. Salí moto con las neas en busca de gatas. En la moto con las neas en busca de gatas, right? Entonces las neas will be like my friends, my boys. En busca de gatas. But I told you that gato means a guy, gatas, girls. No hay que roncar porque olemos a plata. Olemos a plata. What does that mean? It means you smell like money. Plata means silver, but eh, in Colombia, plata means money. La plata. You ever seen Narcos with eh, Pablo Escobar? 
He's like, plata, plata o plomo. Give me that money or you get some lead. That's what he's talking about. In Colombia, if you don't want to say money, you just say plata. Pasa la chimba, de eso se trata. Pasar la chimba, de eso se trata. Pues, simply we will say pasarla bien, pasarla de maravilla, whatever. Este, in Colombia, pasar la chimba. Pasar la chimba means like, so just have a great time. Chimba has like un sinfin de uso en, en la región de Antioquia. And chimba just means something good. Like, este, parce, que chimba, que chimba. Like, wow, that's dope, you know, that's cool. It could also be something negative, you know, it could be a reaction to something negative or, so, or something surprising. You know how in English, people are like, man, that's, that's bad, that's really bad, you know? But then you can see a girl or a guy you like and be like, oh, she's bad or he's bad, you know? Kind of like that, that's how you can make sense of chimba, like, not saying that it means bad, but I think that's a good that's a good connection that we have there. You know, sometimes it doesn't translate perfectly to, to English to know how we want it to. But let's move on to the next song. Tu sabes, estamos están disfrutando el video. Are you liking this video? If you are, I need that thumbs up. I, I need that thumbs up, bro. I need the thumbs up, sis. Dame. Oh yeah. Que gonorrea. <laughs> That's Colombian too. Next song that we have is Mojando Asientos con Maluma y Faith. Tu pasándome el guaro. ¿Qué es guaro? Guaro es agua ardiente. It's a Colombian alcoholic drink. Why is it called agua ardiente? Because it looks like water, but it burns going down, okay? Te quema, te quema, te arde. Agua ardiente, but in Colombia they will call it guaro. Pero quiero parchar contigo en el yeras. Quiero parchar contigo en la yeras. Parque Lleras es un parque muy popular en Medellín, Colombia. En serio, amor, no te vuelvas a perder. Amor, no te vuelvas a perder. Amor, is a short for amor. Colombia, they don't really shorten a lot of words. Like in Caribbean Spanish, they shorten everything. But el cel is one. De cora, you know, corazón, that's one. And amor is a really popular one. Esa canción allí, ya en el 150, es una de mis favoritas del momento, tú sabes. El party más cabrón si tú te sueltas. El party más cabrón si tú te sueltas. El party más cabrón si tú te sueltas. Oh, cabrón, focus on the word cabrón. Cabrón, it can be a bad term. If you don't, if you don't know the person, don't use the, the, the term. If you're calling somebody, you only call your friends that because it's like bro or dude. Kind of like nea, it's like bro or dude. Eh, cabrón, in Puerto Rico, if you're calling somebody that, it's like bro or dude. If you're not, if you don't know the person, don't call them cabrón, okay? You don't want to get beat up or worse. Entonces, don't use that word. Pero, in this context, if you're describing something as being cabrón, that means that like it's, it's tough, it's hard, like in a good way, you know? Eh, está duro. It's bad. I don't, I don't cuss, so I'm not gonna say what it, what, I, what the blank is there, but you know what I'm talking about. Bad, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you don't, then just use the other terms, but it just means something's really good. Este, el party más cabrón si tú, si tú te suelta. If you, if you let loose, the party is more fun. That's what he's saying. So there's something that you might hear in a lot of like eh, reggaeton or trap songs, even dembow songs. You always talk about los peines, like un peine is like a comb, you know? Puedes peinarte la, la barba, peinarte el cabello, tú sabes. Eh, it could be a comb. But he said, los peines están full. What does that mean? Your combs are full? It's not a comb. Un, un peine, in that sense, is a clip for your gun. Where the, where the thing that holds the bullets, that's what he's talking about. So if you hear that in a song, no, they're not talking about combs, they're talking about el peine. So just so you know what you're, what you're saying when you sing the song. El carro full de gasolina. Faith does that. He will cut words short to make them rhyme. So he said, el carro full de gasolí. We know that gasolina is the real word, but he says gasolí. Why did he say that? Because the next line. Gapitas ocli. What is gapitas? Well, gafas. Las gafas de sol. Los lentes de sol. Gafita. It's like we add ito and ita to words in Spanish because we want to. That's pretty much how it works, okay? <laughs> so get used to it. Pero Gapita Oakley, Machea. Machea is not how you say it in Spanish. That is a Spanglish word. Must be from Puerto Rico. Must be hanging around so many Puerto Ricans. Machea means it matches. So mis, mis capitas machean con mi camisa blanca, con mi white tee. Gasoli, white tee. He had to make that rhyme. But like I said before, he uses English in his rhymes a lot. 
and that's the case of it right there. I hope you learned some useful words and phrases that they use in Colombia. Some of them were borrowed from Puerto Rico, like I said. Some of them were borrowed from, from English with, with Faith. But, you know, hopefully you like this video, learning Spanish with Faith. If you want more videos like this, maybe I can do Carol G, maybe J Balvin. Actually, Faith was a writer for J Balvin back in the day. He used to write some hits from, for Balvin, and they got a song together called Que Raro, which I love. But anyways, that don't matter. If you did feel this content, if you were feeling this content, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, make sure you comment down below with examples of how you would use this slang in your day-to-day -day life. Hasta aquí el video de hoy, y nos fuimos.